Okay. I'm going to do this live with Memorex, meaning I'm not going to edit, edit this because I want this to be true. My name is Rob Parks, and I am a suicide survivor. The key part of that sentence is survivor. People are dying from mental illness. Mental illness can be a fatal disease. Tens of thousands of people die from suicide die by from their own hand every year from the elderly to children children as young as 11 kill themselves possibly younger why i have no idea i can only speak to my own experience my experience is that life is pain that all I feel is pain. And so what is the point of continuing if all that, all that life is, is pain? I know that I'm going to die eventually. I mean, it's, it's nature. But the question to me becomes, why suffer? I'm not going to blow smoke up your ass. I'm not going to tell you to live for other people or live because it's morally wrong to kill yourself. Or at least that's not the smoke I blow up my ass. Why do I live? Because I live because someone reminded me that there is joy in life, that my life is not all pain. I saw the, the wedding of my best friend. I am, I am, I have two, he has two daughters that I love dearly and I would like to pass on whatever knowledge I have to them. And I need to be alive for that to happen. I live for me, I survived for me. To all the survivors out there of fatal diseases, mental illness, cancer, other ones, you are the shit. You have faced, you have had the courage to face death and survive. And if you are listening to me today, then not only did you survive, you have kept surviving. You have fought. You have bravely fought to survive. And for that, that is no small thing by anyone's measure. And I, I salute you for it. For those of you out there who may be listening, who are thinking about suicide, Seek help. Our mental, our mental health care system is, is fucked. There's no, there's no denying that. What's funny to me is that they tell us all or nothing thinking is, is wrong. But one of the problems with mental, the mental health care system is that it is all or nothing. But what I will say to you is the same thing that I say to myself, the same standard that I hold for myself. I have, if I have thoughts of suicide, and I have the intention to fulfill the plan that I have in my head, I will not call anyone. I will not call a hotline. 
I will call a friend, a very specific friend. I will call him and I will ask him to talk me off that ledge. If I had no friends, and that is a thing, people live through life without having friends that they can talk to. And that is not something to be ashamed of. That is, that is sometimes just how life is done. If you do not have someone you can go to, go to the ER immediately. Do not, um, do not pass go, spend the $200 or whatever, go to the ER because there will be someone there that you can talk to. Yes, chances are you will be hospitalized. I have very little to say about hospitalization, but they have helped me survive. They are useful. Seek help wherever and however you can get it. And genuine help, not, not drugs, alcohol, or impulsive spending, or any of that shit. Seek help from people who actually know what they're doing and care. Apologize if this is a bit vehement. This is something that's weighed on me for a long time. And frankly, this video is, is selfish because I suffer from depression and depression is this most selfish disease that there, are, there is. I felt I needed to say what I wish someone had said to me. That I tried to kill myself, and that is not something to be ashamed of. I have it tattooed that I am a survivor because at least in the summertime, I can wear this as a badge. that I not only survive, but I continue to survive. And I will continue to survive. Please be safe. And I love you all.